visual this change can actually look like when done right and I hope I'm doing it right I hope it actually looks good on camera let me know if uh, this actually uh, looks good so look just like that anyway what's up guys and this is the Russian genius in this video I am gonna be showing you a very cool color change that is actually quite visual and the first time I saw this as a beginner I was completely fooled and I'm not saying that this is gonna fool you but still it's a pretty cool looking color change so here is how it looks like and what it looks like and also in this video I'm gonna be mentioning who won uh, this deck I'm adding a extra deck in the package but here's what the color change it looks like any card in the deck is selected uh, let's say the eight of diamonds Right? I think it was the Eight of Diamonds. Um, yeah, let's just push it in and square it up like this. And here's what's gonna happen. I am gonna take the Eight of the Ace of Diamonds. And if I just wave my hand over it, it changes like this into the Eight of Diamonds. Let's do it once again. Any card in the deck is selected. Let's say the Ace of Hearts. And once again, as before, we are gonna lose it in the center. And then we are gonna be using the bottom card of the deck, which is the Jack of Hearts. Now look, Jack of Hearts is not the card that we selected, but if I just wave over it, it changes visually into the Ace of Hearts. So look, once again, gonna give the deck a shuffle, and now we actually have the Queen of Spades, which changes into the Ace of Hearts. That is the move and it's a pretty cool visual move. You're able to do it really quickly as you can see and there are so many different variations of this move. A lot of people have done all sorts of different variations but anyways let's move on into the tutorial. Before we move on into the tutorial I just want to say that the winner of this deck with uh, my signed signature is going to be this person right here this deck is gonna be on the way to your place together with this deck if you guys want me to give away this deck then let me know in the comment section and I might give away this deck of cards in my next video if that's something that you guys are interested because I think I want to do more uh, giveaway videos in in the near future so yes anyways let's just move on into the tutorial and I really hope that you will enjoy this also if you want to follow my personal life then check out some of the links in the description because I do actually have a second channel I want to do it as good as I can because I want you guys to see how visual this change can actually look like when done right and I hope I'm doing it right I hope it actually looks good on camera. Let me know if uh, this actually uh, looks good. So look, just like that. Anyways, here is the tutorial. You are going to, however you want, control the card to the top. I'm gonna go more in depth in a moment. So control the selection to the top of the deck, however you want. I am gonna be using the pass, and once the card is on top, then comes the color change. Before I show you the color change, I actually want to say that the best control for this uh, trick or for this color change is probably the turnover pass because it makes a lot of sense. You put a card in the center and then you can do a pass to control the card to the top while turning over the deck. If you want to learn how to do this control which um, looks like this and the card is on top of the deck, check out the link in the description because I do have a tutorial on that control. Anyways, once it is on top, as I said before, I prefer the 
turnover pass or the classic pass but once you have it on top of the deck you are going to clip the card in between the uh, middle finger ring and pinky finger matter of fact let me show you this from another angle the middle ring and pinky finger are gonna be on the short side of the deck and you are going to grip the deck not at the fingertips but you're gonna grab it a little bit deeper in the hand and these fingers they are gonna be able to pull the card off the thumb is gonna be on the other side of the deck close to the corner if I was doing it with both of the hands it would look something like this and then the index finger is just gonna be on top laying around and here's how it looks like I take it like this and my thumb is going to move the deck you know this way so what is happening is the card is being taken like this so that is the basics of the move try to follow along so you take it you grab the card and you just twist it like this you grab it your hand takes the deck like that and then you rotate it and now you have it in mechanics grip you're holding it like this and what's gonna happen is that uh, the ace of spades is going to get palmed like this and then when you are ready to change the card you place it on top square it up and I like to do this waving motion to make it look like that the waving motion caused the changing of the card. While I am twisting this around, I'm actually getting the card into this position. And how I do it is like this. I twist it around and then I first of all pull the card a little bit towards myself as you can see the card started off like this but I pull it towards myself and I realign the card the reason I do it is so I don't flash from the front because a lot of times when you don't think about pulling the card back then a lot of times you will accidentally flash the card. When I do it every single time that I do it, I take the card and I first of all pull it a little bit back with my fingers. So I pull it back with my fingers and then I have it in Tenkai palm for a little bit. I usually lay it on my finger and then I try to square it up in the middle of the hand without any of the sides flashing and this happens really fast. I want to show you this once again and just try to follow along while I actually explain it. So look there is the king I take it like this and then this gets pulled backwards a little bit and my finger goes on top and then this happens and then I square everything up and I'm able to like wave it off kind of make it look like a chain to where when you wave over the car that actually changes that's that's quite cool, right? Almost. So, once again, like this. In speed, it would look like this. Let me show you this in speed. King of clubs. All right, and that's it. It happens really fast, and one of the tips I have is try doing it when your hand isn't sweaty. This part of the hand needs to be dry. If it's wet, this is gonna be impossible to do. And first, I start off on my fingernail, but then I go all the way down to my hand. So I go down here, and a lot of times this part 
of the hand will be sweaty as you can see but in speed it looks like this and you're able to quickly and visually change the card I would do this for two three people and no more than two three people try doing it from this angle so the ace of spades is gonna go back inside the center of the deck and then I am gonna take the king of clubs which changes like this into the ace of spades. This is a interesting move. I learned it long time ago and uh, I hope that you will enjoy it. Basically, you just take it like this. You make sure it is aligned a little bit better on the hand so you don't, so you don't flash. And when you have it here, you are able to move it and open your hands and show that the fingers are empty. But then when it drops, you square it up and do any waving motion you want to change the card. So that is actually kinda it and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to support this channel, uh, check out therussiangenius.com and uh, I really appreciate everything. So. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope that you enjoy this. Uh, also, check out my second channel right over there. And I will try to do this once again. So, uh, look, gonna do this. Take the Ace of Clubs. And then the Ace changes into the Ace of Spades. So, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video.